How's it going, everybody? Brian here, and I'm bringing you guys a new game, a oh, new demo for a game called This Grand Life 2. Um, some little information about the first one. The first one was a bit of a life simulator. Uh, I enjoyed it, and I was wondering when is the next one going to come out. And once again, I'm browsing Reddit, minding my own business when I see this post the developer posted. Hey, I, I'm, I'm releasing my game. Here's the demo. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let me raise this chair because this thing is making me look like I'm five feet tall. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. So I already went into the options. And there's a convenient streamer mode, right, to disable uh, copy right claimed music and that was all i did let's new, hit new game okay so we start off with four thousand dollars in our bank account that's more than the first one the first game you started off with zero and it's january january 2025 all right so i guess it goes monthly 728 hours all right welcome to the, the tutorial click the next button to start or the end button above to end this part of the tutorial let's say next all right incredible clicking well done thanks note the tutorial can be reset or disabled from the options menu at any time click next to continue easy enough your life is divided into months with 728 hours in each month in the top bar, the currently highlighted value is your remaining time this month. Click next to continue. Okay, 728. We already, yeah, uh, yep, yep, already spotted that. This is your cash account. All personal and business expenses, income, flow through it. Hover over to see recent transactions. Let's go ahead, hover over it. All right, $4,000, miscellaneous. Next slide. This is your character panel. It shows job earnings, transport method, inventory, queued actions and needs. Hovering over different icons will give you more information. Click next to continue. All right. So click to change preferred movement, public transit. All right, transit pass, travel, okay, next. Below the character panel are your character shortcuts. You can use them to quickly view different sites like your home, workplace, or school. Click next to continue. Okay. Okay. There's the apartment. Ah, uh, that's your house, I guess. Three Le Leeds Road. You can do sleep on the floor, sleep on the bed. All right. Next slide. If you have more than one character, ah, you can have more than one character. In there. Okay, if you have more than one character, switch between them using the character portrait buttons at the bottom of the screen. You only have one character. You only have one character, so won't be able to do it now. So you won't be able to do it now. All right, click next to continue. First, let's set up. This is a demo. That's. The, I'm sure there's going to be some more spelling mistakes. All right, first let's set up some auto actions at home click the home shortcut to view available household actions let's set up some auto actions all right hit end this tutorial end. oh no i don't know let's see. all right all right clicking the large x next to each activity will change its priority one for the highest four for the lowest okay like room world um when your characters are idle, they will decide what to do based on these priorities. The tutorial will continue once you have set priorities for sleep on the floor, sleep on floor, stare at wall, and order pizza. Alright, so the picture here says they want to set to three. Sleep on the floor, stare at wall, order pizza. Three, uh, stare at the wall and pizza. Stare at the wall and order pizza. Three. All right. You can click the green action icon to manually add it to the queue action queue. Try it now to see the icon glide into the action queue. Why walk when you can glide? Click the next. Click next to continue. Uh, click the green action to add it manually. Let me just see. Huh? 
Oh. There it is. All right. I'll right click to remove it. Okay. Uh, click next to continue. If you accidentally add an action, you can always right click it from the action queue to remove it. Click next to continue. All right. Hovering over, over the little icons for each activity will give extra details, such as a character's preference towards it, price, required items, etc. Note the sleep on bed option is grayed out because you don't have an item with the sleeping surface tag. Click next to continue. So this item requires item. This requires items with tags. Sleeping surface. Gotcha. This is your current home. Six months left on the lease. Uh, 332 a month. Shared apartment. Floor space affects how many people and items you can effectively hold to your floor space. 14.52 M2. Okay. Let's fix that and buy a bed at the furniture store. Is the date moving? No, it's still January. All right, let's fix that and buy a bed at the furniture store. Look for the furniture store on the map, picture below, and click it to open the interaction window. You can scroll the map around by right click dragging the mouse or using the WASD keys. Zoom the map in and out by scrolling the mouse wheel. Let's do a little scrolling. All right, uh, let's go to the furniture store and buy a bed where's the furniture store is it? no this doesn't oh all right furniture store right there all right so shopping window there's the bed all right click the single bed to purchase it hmm all right that was quick all right uh Slide note, side note, you can filter items by their tags using the check boxes on the shopping windows left panel. Click next to continue. All right, let's run the game now so your character can perform their queued actions. Unpause using the speed buttons at the top of the screen or by pressing the space bar on your keyboard. The tutorial will continue when you own an item with the sleeping surface tag. I believe that. Okay. Uh, so space. Side note. Uh, side note, your assets and liabilities list can be seen using the button indicated below. Click next to continue. Where is that? Where is that icon? Okay, top right. There it is. Assets list. It's, it's empty. Household. My bed. Rent. Own the rented properties. All right, start a business. Apply for a loan. Apply for investment investments from these locations, and buy stock. All right, this is your household assets display. Some home activities require assets with certain ability tags. For example, sleep on bed requires a sleeping surface, of course. Note, if you have multiple characters, the effectiveness of activities is reduced unless you have enough of the appropriate ability tags. A single bed won't sleep a family of four. Makes sense. So is that the end of the tutorial? Can't be. Uh, your assets. You can list your assets. The next. Next. All right. Next, we'll need to find the job and make some money since the rent is due at the end of the month. Damn right it is. Every month. Unless you want to be home, just click on the search list function. Search list. All right, search list, new work. Cashier, store supervisor. All right, click on the click on the cash click on the cashier's find job button to add. There it is. Once again, run the game until you found some jobs. All right. Okay, when the search is complete, the newly found jobs will show up under the current jobs tab. Click on the current jobs tab, tab now. There it is. All right, cashier. The little icons next to the job icon 
show you the working conditions and pay. Hover over each one to see all the new details. Click next to continue. So there's a store supervisor. Dislike working. Dislike paperwork. Needs this effect needs fun. Well, let's go for the interview here. All right, that's gonna take twenty hours. What is this location activity? Sleep on the floor. Okay. The little icons next to the job icons show you the work condition and pay. Hover over each one. All right. Next. Apply for the job using the attempt interview button. Already hit that. If you're unsuccessful, you can always apply at a different place or find other jobs. The tutorial will continue once you successfully find the job. All right. Let's unpause, right? That 20 isn't going down, though. There it is. There it is. Okay. It's queued up. All right. Congratulations. You got the job. All right. This month's maintaining this month's remaining work hours and accumulated wages will appear in the character panel. Remaining work hours are refreshed and wages are paid at the end of the mo each month. Click to continue. So there we go. Zero, zero. Thankfully, we don't have zero, zero. 68 hours later. Oh, yes. Okay. Next. What is this? Brick wire. Stare at the wall, okay. <laughs> an auto a an auto action has been added for your new job. To see a list of all current auto actions, click the icon shown below. It looks like a little what is this like a branching directional thing here. Click next to continue. Where where let's where where is that? Where is that? It's there it is. Open auto actions. Our auto actions are sleep on the floor, stare at the wall, or the pizza cashier. All right, this is the auto actions window. It lists all activities with an assigned priority for the current selected character. You can click the numbers here to change an activity's priority. All right, hover over the icon next to the priority number to see the last calculated desire. More pluses means the activity is more attractive. More minuses means it's less attractive. Desire is only calculated when someone is idle and deciding what to do next. Click end to finish the tutorial segment. All right. A new action is matter for your job. That's it for the basics of setting up a life. We'll quickly look at the two major features, character preferences and industry inflation, and then leave you to it. Firstly, open your home again by clicking the home shortcut under the character panel. All right, so let's go back home. All right, next, to each activity, you'll see a little preference icon to get the most out of life. Try to match someone's career and activities to their preferences. You see a little preference icon. How much does it cost? How far is it? Stare at the wall. Next to each activity, you see a little preferences icon. Picture below. Gotcha. There it is. Okay. Now I'm tracking. So this is my character likes sleeping. Likes comfort. Which is good for, uh, for sleeping in the... Yeah. Uh, I should probably remove sleeping on the... Sleeping on the floor since I got the bed. Let's see if I can remove that. Sleep on the floor. And sleep on the bed. Where's the bed? Sleep on the bed right here. Let's bring that to another three. Okay. All right. Fun tends to decrease faster when people are doing things they don't enjoy. It makes sense. You can see the exact fun change by hovering over the activity icon and adding all the numbers under the fun heading. Click next to continue. So that this uh, ordering pizza base is plus 160. And because they like eating, they get a plus 36 and fun. Got it. So, so yeah, look, see here in the bottom one, the last one, uh, it goes negative 120 for sleeping on the floor because it's not comfortable. And the character likes comfort. Okay, makes sense. 
stare at the wall. No, no, no downsides. So just staring at a wall. Ah, status chances. Diabetes. For ordering pizza. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, characters can feel allergic, hate, dislike, like, love, or addicted towards different aspects of life. All right, you can see someone's preferences at any time from the character sheet on the character panel. All right, cashier, transit pass, just the auto actions. Stare at the wall. All right. If someone feels either love or addicted towards something, they will have an addition. They will have an additional needs bar for that preference, just like the energy, hunger, and fun need bars. So that's, here are the bars. That's energy. Nine oh eight. Food hourly decay negative six. So we need we need some food and some fun. Let me close this. All right, now hover over the burning money icon in the top bar. This shows you the current inflation rate of all industries. The inflation rate is how fast prices are rising or falling each year. It affects things like your potential job income, education, costs, activity prices, and so on. So here's, let's look at this. Let's, let's, we gotta find this now. Where is this at? Right there, okay, there it is. 5%, that's the bank interest rate. Inflation, 0 0.080. Very generous, very generous. Wish real life was like that, huh? Very, very low inflation but nonetheless you might have noticed the little factory icon picture below next to some activities this tells you how strongly each industry affects the price of that activity as an example it might be worthwhile to work a job your character hates if the industry is booming and there's a lot of money to be made click next to continue now let's find that icon where's the factory icon Picture below, you might notice a little factory icon. Where's that factory icon? Is that not? It's a park? Where is it? Where is. No, it's not here. Is it. No. It must be on the map. And I'm just missing it. Uh, no. You might notice the little fact that I can put you next to some activity. Okay, next to some activities. All right, well, we we'll just have to imagine that I, that I saw it. Okay, that's the character prefaces and industry inflation system in a nutshell. Congratulations on making it this far. Click next to continue. All right, there are different things to do and sites to explore. Find activities that suit your character and add them to that person's auto actions list. Click next to continue. All right, note, this is the alpha demo and will be ended after 12 months of game time. All right, you can start a new game and create a custom character, escape, uh -huh, and click and to finish this segment. All right. So I'm guessing we're good to go. Let's hit a uh, space bar. So now my character's eating, going to work. Working those 40 hours a week. That's the fun. Uh, okay. So this is uh, so definitely different from the first game. Definitely different. In the first game, you uh, you did these things manually. Like, you had to go from place to place and manage all of these bars manually. But here it does it for you. Um, hmm. Okay. So, there's still 300. Oh. I mean, is there, let's pause it real quick. 
Let's see, is my apartment? Order pizza, drink beer. What was this again? Energy. Okay. Ah, you click on this. All right. Uh, driving uh, travels very fast on the highway, so I wonder if that costs more money using a car. I didn't even know I had a car. Do I don't have a car? All right, public transit. Character is now sleeping. You can get a... Man, watch my money keep going down like this. Wait a minute, wasting too much money on food. 198? Um, enough with this pizza ordering. Is there something else? In the first one, you could go to um, you can go to the stores and buy some food, buy a refrigerator, and you can eat meals in your in your, in your home instead of ordering this pizza. One hundred ninety-eight. Oh, it's more expensive than Uber Eats. Let's see. Ah, one time statement. Let's pause it. I said pause it. All right. So the end of January. Let's take a look at this. So this uh, things change. We got happiness plus two two four and plus two percent on our diabetes. Oh my goodness! At the end of each month, several things happen. Your characters are teleported home. Wages are paid. Utilities slash services charged and status effects calculated. Jobs are refreshed. Real. Oh, I thought it was pause. That was a central bank. Uh, jobs are refreshed. Real estate offers are processed, and so on. You can view important changes from the monthly summary window. Let's click on the monthly summary window. It's this right here. Okay, that was it. All right. So for this month, I want to see how much money I was spending on food. Let's see here. It's, this is the train. I mean, look at that. That's insane for one month. I spent like two grand on food, fourteen hundred on food. Well, minus the, minus the ramp up. Okay, not quite two grand, but you know, two, four, six, eight, one thousand, two, four, seven. Yeah, two thousand. All right, next. Wow. Well, hmm. That's my apartment. You can get a loan here. Let's pause it. Okay, personal loan, mortgage, a CD. What's the rate on this? Okay, well, this is the bank. It's the park, town hall, hair salon. Okay, that's that's not an icon on the map. It's me. All right. What's going on in town hall? Get a business permit. Oh, show available jobs. Gardener. So my character dislikes thinking, dislikes social, dislikes paperwork. Huh. All right, transit pass. Public transport. Click to purchase an amount. Yikes, no, not five. No, not 25. I want to... Oh, man. I'm afraid to click it again. It's going to go up to 50. Uh, I won't. Right-click it in. No, it doesn't remove it. All right. Let's unpause. It's the fun. Yeah, so most definitely... They're going in a new direction for the second game. But of course, keep in mind, this is just an alpha version. That's my character now at the furniture store. Back home, staring at the wall. All right, so this, this one is a, a lot more hands off. 
a lot more automated. Social disabled in demo, character sheet. Uh, there we go. Dislikes. Thinking. Thinking is done in many jobs and required for almost all educational pursuits. See, my guy does not like thinking, does not like exercising. Paperwork, social, creativity. What does he like? My guy likes sleeping. Hey, who doesn't? Eating chicken. Okay, just eating. Sandals. I just likes being comfortable. And he likes hygiene, shopping, spirituality, authority, technology, sleeping, driving, alcohol, status chance per year. So there's a 3.8% chance that I'm going to get diabetes from eating this pizza. Let's, uh, let's pause it. Increase by 1.5%. No, pause it, pause it, pause it. Unhappiness uh, change. I gained plus 283. Um, let's see if we can do something about this impending diabetes. How will we change that, right? I want to buy, eat some other food. Eat some other food. No. Where would I get this food? The hair salon? No. The park? No, not the bank. Not the furniture store. Not town hall. Hmm. Maybe I can order it? Just gotta figure out. Open experience statement. Let's see. First nice statement. Character sheet. Social disabled. Now, how do I get back to uh, my actions? Is it an apartment? Uh, okay, here we go. Yes. Okay, I need to, where's this food at? Because we cannot keep eating this pizza. I mean, eventually you're gonna get diabetes. Cook food, ah, cook food, no cookable. When you were missing cookable, we're missing a cooking surface and food storage. Okay. Use massage chair, which we don't have. No massaging, plain bread, no basic food stuff. There's child care, take a shower, eat mushy food. Too old. Too old. Okay. Uh, all right. Guess I'm paused. It's already March. Another 198. Down to $2,100. Staring at the wall. Town hall, furniture store, the bank. What can we buy here at the furniture store? Bunk beds, a sofa, gaming chair. How about a refrigerator? Tables and chairs. How much money do we have? 1700. Lobby chairs, a bar counter. What's my job already? The cashier. No, um, no refrigerator. Unless I missed it. I mean, it's not that long of a list, honestly. So, uh, let's, but let's double check just to make sure. Gaming chair, office desk with computer, tables and chairs, lobby, bar counter, beds. No. All right, dining out. One ninety eight. I guess we just sit back and watch, huh? Hair salon, what can I do with the hair salon? A makeover, 20 bucks, style makeover, dislikes. All right, don't do this because my character does not like social. 
Eighty month, eighty hours left. Do I? I can't even. Yeah, no computer. Take a shower. Oh. All right. Small friend as well. Um. Utilities and transport, sixty bucks. And then that rent, like always, gotta pay that rent. Happiness, health points. Health points are spent on birthdays. Lose points when a food or energy bar reaches zero. Gain points by doing healthy activities. It's a healthy activity. What is this picture of? Click to view household assets. All right, that's my bed. Buy stocks. Let's check this out. Buy stocks. This is the stock market window. Click on the buy button to see a list of stocks you can buy and the sell button to see the stocks you own. Clicking on the icons next to the company name will open up details for that stock. Click next to continue. All right, the company details panel shows important information for each stock. In general, a company with a high price per share. Compared to equity per share is considered expensive unless it also has a high earnings per share to justify its high price. Uh, and if all of that sounds too confusing, don't worry. You can use the research stock action to get an, an analysis on the stock. All right. Once you've researched the stock, you will receive additional useful information. Financial hints at the likelihood of bankruptcy, which causes all your stock in that company to become worthless. Click next to continue. Management tells you about company leadership. Good management can make money even in bad economic conditions. And bad management can lose money even when things are going well. That's right. You can get a list of how different industries affect the company. More pluses are good, more minuses are bad. Note that not all industries affecting a company are positively correlated. For example, manufacturing companies need lots of energy. So when energy industry prices are rising, the manufacturing company makes less money. All right, that makes sense. Logical as hell. All right, the researched information can become stale as time passes. Things like new leadership or booming industries going bust can change a company's outlook. You might see this reflected in the price or earnings per share, which are updated every month. It's worthwhile to perform the research stock action again. You suspect the conditions have changed. Click end to finish this tutorial. All right, you've been at the same job for a while now. It's good to keep an eye out on the other opportunities as your skills improve and economic conditions change you might find the same job that pays more offers better working hours or is located closer to home you would e you could even work multiple jobs at once if you can handle it all right that's different from the first one the first one you only have one job at a time you could you can have a uh, you can run multiple businesses in conjunction with having a job but this is different here you can have more than one job as you can see, my money is not necessarily increasing. It's down to fifteen hundred. Huh. So the transit pass still there. It's my character going to work. Does town hall have any jobs? No. But I could get a business permit and change my name. How about a job at the bank? No, not yet, not yet. You uh, what is this? Yeah, hobo camp. You can live in a tent at the park. Scope the place out. All right, so if things get really bad, I can always live live in the park, live in a tent at the park. Hair salon.
furniture store. Are there more jobs at the furniture store? Just the cashier. Well, this is a security guard job. But my character won't like it, right? Because it's thinking. Maybe not, because I'm not seeing the... It's just red. There's no negative and a number associated with it, so I don't think it's going to actually... Security guard. Yeah, let's, say, let's interview for this job. Let's. How much does it pay? Uh, I would like to know that before I even... Let's see what happens. I got the job. So does this now mean I have two jobs? Character sheet. Still 18. 8% chance of diabetes. I got to get off that pizza. All right, household and financial statement. Monthly summary. Stock market. Assets. Search list. Let's click back home. Sleeping. Again, goes up by 1.4. This is how my character is spending his time, right? 160 hours, cashier, cashier, 160. Idling for 106. That's not good. So what's my character doing right now? Furniture store, cashier. There's the furniture stores. And the apartments hot keyed here. All right, so this game is uh looks like very hands off. Um, a lot different from the first one. Now, well, you could click on that money right there, or what was that? I click on the clouds, you know. No, can't click on this. Yeah, my character is almost broke. Is is it um? I have to eat this plain bread. I don't even have plain bread. That's when you know you're down bad. You can't even afford bread. Can't even make a sandwich. Ah, here we go. So let me... Yeah, but which one pays more? That's what I want to know. 160 hours. This is only 54 Work performance and two. All right. I mean, my character seems to be happy. They seem to be handling all of that. Oh. What is this right here? Why does that say 2,700? Maybe that's how much I get paid at the end of the month? Let's see. 2,700. 60 hours left. Let me know what you guys think so far of this game. Let's slow. All right. Darius Dowling gained Insomnia. It's tax time. 497 tax refund has been added to your cash account. Three leads. Road lease is expiring. So the lease. All right. Time is paused. The lease has expired on your current rented property. You can renew the lease using the pop up. Or the monthly summary window or move out and look for a new home click next to continue open the search bar search listing click on the current real estate current real estate here we go some properties would be for rent now others for sale click on the properties icon to view available actions for it if you like a property's location floor space and price use the sign Lease action to rent it and move in. Side note, if you sign the lease for a new property before your old lease expired, you will be paying for two homes at the same time. Click next to continue. 
All right. If none of the current available properties are to your liking, you can find new ones. Open the search bar list, search list, and click on the search real estate icon. Show below. Here, you can use the find action to find new potential homes. Status effects. The change of the status effect can be seen. None. All right. They want to renew it. Okay, so it's just a one, one hit, one click here. So it's expiring. Renew the lease for three, three, two per month for six months. I guess accept. My only other option, according to this, is a hobo camp. So I'll pause it. Let me see if there's anything more available here. If there's any more new items now. But I do have some money. And I guess I could buy a I could buy a sofa. A gaming chair, but I don't have any I don't have a computer to game with. Let's move this out the way here. Okay. Let's uh let's let's go ahead and buy this sofa. Alright, let's buy this sofa. There it is. And much like real life, when you when you when, you, when you're first starting out, first moving out on your own, it's just like this. You acquire furniture slowly. Like behind me, I have that couch. You know what I mean? I didn't always have a couch. You know, when I first moved out on my own, I was sleeping on an air mattress. Now, thankfully, years later. Well into my thirties, I can I can afford a couch. Now let's go to my items here. Ah, what is this apartments? Find find site. Let's see what this does. Will they find somewhere else to live? Ah, it does. In Jason Drive, in Marino Lane. And San Jose Avenue. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess it's theoretical. There should be something here. Or there will be here something eventually. Shopping mall find site. Let's see what this does. Found two site. Zilma Drive and Eller Court. Okay, I can go to the shopping mall here and ask strangers for money. Negative 200 on my phone. 1.2%. Let's go. Let's just see this next one. All right, so both malls. Do they have different items? Yes, they do. Here we go. All right. Let's buy this. We need basic. What was it? Basic food stuffs. Start making right here. 200. Let's get these groceries. Yo, we need a refrigerator and an oven. 1600 for an oven. Ugh. Damn, for that much, I just go outside, get some, some sticks and a, and a match. Case of beer for $79. Yikes, gas, coffee beans, electric oven. All right, so I got the food. I need somewhere to put my stuff, right? But right here, standard refrigerator. Bam. All right, so we have. So we're gonna get the basic groceries, the refrigerator, and what else? What else? What else do we need? Yeah, an oven to cook it, right? So let's go ahead and buy an electric oven. All right, let's. Bam. Okay, so now that I have that, let me do something about this pizza because it's diabetes. Right click there, right? Yep, right click. Now I gotta find out how to get back home to my foot uh, so I can add these. Oh, it's right here, right? Bam, right there. Oh, uh, where is this? Eat plain bread. I can eat plain bread now. But that's not what I want. Cook food. There it is right there. All right. Three on that. And okay. I only have one basic groceries. Okay. Let's unpause it.
Okay, so the map more icons appear when you hit when you search, right? So shopping mall. Let's buy some more basic groceries. Just because I don't want to run out. We should be seeing that money. Damn, two or two. Okay, that was okay, that was for the groceries. Trying to save money here, not. You are running low on cash. Consider getting a loan or a second job to get through the month or perhaps look for cheaper, less effective ways to satisfy your needs. Eat plain bread or scavenge trash cans. Once your character's needs has reached zero, when this happens, one of your character's needs have reached zero, but when this happens, they will slowly lose health or happiness points. Hover over the needs icons in the character panel to see the impact. Let's pause it. Pretty sure I can close this. All right, fun. My character needs fun. Needs happiness. Agitated. Okay, let's go back home. What can my person here do for fun? Um, don't have a computer to play these games. I need a computer. Drink beer. That beer is only 79 bucks, right? So let me find the shopping mall. And where's that beer? Case of beer, 79. Go ahead and get that beer for you. Enjoy yourself. Even though the character is only 18 years old and legally cannot partake in those adult beverages. All right, so he bought it. Actually, no, let's go back home. And I'm going to have to add. It was right here. Drink beer. All right, add a little beer into this person's life here. If you're buying something regularly like groceries, yes, I am. You can add a shortcut by holding down the control key and click on the item in the shopping window. This will add a shortcut under the character. Got it. Shop them all. Bam. Basic groceries. Let's hit control. There it is right there all right let's go my character that has 89 bucks left working on getting 1800 dollars on this paycheck two grand hundred and seventy hours left character needs more fun okay there it is raising up just energy, food, and fun. Take a little. All right, so we're almost out of August. 20 hours left, 10 hours. Zero. So, ba whoa, let's pause it. Basic groceries were stolen from three Leeds Road. And my sofa was stolen. Some items were stolen. Who who breaks into somebody's home? Well, I guess if you were that hungry, you would steal somebody's groceries. Then answer okay. Some items were stolen. If your floor space required if the floor space required for your items exceeds the floor space available in your home or business businesses things will be left outside and have a chance to be stolen really now uh, okay uh, that's not good not good not good so I just wasted all that money all right I mean, surely there has to be a better, I don't know, leaving your, leaving your stuff outside. Eh, I won't even replace it. The demo's almost over. Oh, but character's hungry. I have to go hey, back to the pizza. Because, actually, no. Buy some groceries. 
There it is. Okay. Negative 78 on my life. What does that mean? Half points are spent on birthday. Negative 78. Couple more hours sleeping. What is that? So five Marinol A, monthly metal price twenty one hundred. Ah, uh, no, that will leave me broke. Now where can I see how much food I have stored up? Cook food. So it's fifteen hours to cook using. Basic girl one, okay. As long as they didn't steal my refrigerator and my oven, it's still good. It looks like my characters actually, as soon as I started buying those groceries, my income, my income shot up. What is this? Insomnia. Plus 22% of malnutrition. Yeah, because I didn't eat for, for a little bit. For a little bit. Happiness changes. I got 47. I got 78 on my health. It is October. October. This is Grand Life 2. Yeah. Apply for a loan, apply for a mortgage, start a business. Let's see if they'll let me start a business. That town hall, where is that I hear? Get a business permit. $1,000. Let's see. It's already October. Congratulations on, on your first step to starting a business. Name your business using the pop-up that appeared under this one. So. Firm. Lemonade stand. Okay. Set location. I don't own anywhere. I don't own anything. Market stall. They'll let me go here, no? Okay, find real estate. Why is it not going? Go. No, it's not going. I'm about to close out of this. What? Force paused. Thanks. You can view the new business by clicking the question mark icon in the asset list. Question mark. My firm. All right. First, set the type of business. Consider your character skills, the estimated startup cost, and industry inflation when deciding which business to start. Click next to continue. Next, choose an owned or rented property. If you are not currently renting or own any valid properties, you have to find one first. Once you have set a location and business type, it's time to choose a base job. The base job determines the potential size of your, your business. Click the jobs icon on the business panel and select the base job. Next, you should buy some assets and inventory. All right, where is this? Let's get back to, where's this business? Here we go. My lemonade uh, business. Buy assets using the asset button until your firm's asset percentage is at least 100%. Assets will decay over time as your business ages. If any jobs require inventory, buy them using the inventory button. These items will be consumed when doing jobs that require them. Click next to continue. 
Once you've done all that, your business is finally ready to open. Click the closed button to change it to open. After opening, job hours are immediately generated if, if available. A job hour is the expected amount of work to be completed before the end of the month. Note that some business types have no base job hours, in which case all work comes from contracts. Yeah, contracts were... Uh, that's how you did it in the original game. You get contracts from these clients. All right, you can work a job yourself by clicking the actions icon or setting its priority. To outsource a job to an outside company, click the checkbox. So I'll click, all right, that's where I would click. Two is, uh, what do wait to outsource? Yeah, okay, got it. All right, staff can also be hired to help with each job type using the hire workers button. Got it. Some jobs are revenue generators, as indicated by the money icon. Make sure to do these jobs before the end of the month, or you won't receive the income from all your hard work. The icon shown below represents your brand awareness and reputation. Hover over the numbers to see recent changes. High brand awareness increases the amount of work available each month, while high reputation increases the income from each hour worked. To increase awareness for your business, enable different marketing campaigns by clicking on their icons if available. You may find it challenging to be profitable in the early stages, especially in the business, if the business is in an industry with rapidly dropping inflation. Keep an eye on your expenses using the income statement button shown below. Sometimes economic conditions make it almost impossible to be profitable, in which case it might be worth closing or selling the business. To start the process of selling a business, click the same icon used to set the business type shown below. So the name of my, uh, let's just do it. Oh. Brian's Lemonade. I submit that. Okay. No own any no own or rent of properties. Come on now. What about my home? No suitable properties for rent or sale. Valid property type stall. Found properties. Okay, here we go. Is the game still running though it is? So let me pause that. Uh, okay. So we can sign it to Eureka Avenue, Hill Rose, or Hausfeld, or Stigwood. Let's check these differences here. So the monthly rent here is 478, 20, to a, uh, two year lease, 485, 457, 471. Cheapest one. Yeah, move in. Okay. Now, at uh, what point will I be able to buy some some assets here for the lemonade business? Oh, look at that fund decreasing though. Oh my God, it, it hit zero. Why does it hit zero? I need a. Am I no longer staring at the wall? Okay, yeah, there it is. What? Okay, there it is. Okay. So we moved in. That's the PL statement. Brand awareness is at zero and reputation is 25%. All right, we can advertise online, online ads, but that's 3,500. Billboards, that's four grand. Can't afford that. Expect the assets and furnishings for. Click to buy assets. Inventory. No staff. Let's buy these assets. What can we afford here? So we're gonna need three grand for an office desk with a computer and a display shelf. 
This is all we can afford now is the display shelf. Let me go ahead and buy that. Because if I were to buy the computer right now, it'll leave me with nothing in my character. Dude, I haven't bought food in a minute, actually. Where is that? Wait a minute, expect it. Expect the assets. We're at 400% just from buying the shelf. And we still have more space. No base job setup clip. Cashier. Okay. Cashier, bookkeeper, janitor. So we need a janitor. We need a janitor and a bookkeeper. Let me see if I click this. Oh yeah, that's the outsource, right? For seven bucks an hour. Wow. Who the hell makes 70 bucks an hour so I can hire a worker? Much cheaper, 25 bucks an hour. Okay. Bookkeeper. Would like to see maybe some more information on these guys. What did they? So what's this? Sixty hour, uh, hours available to work. I right, so this this guy right here, eighty one hours. Mister B Danby. Let's try this gentleman out here. So that's for the bookkeeper. Now for the janitor. Go ahead, since you want the uh, 87 hours, 16 bucks. Damn, look at that fun. It's zero again. All right, we hired Basil Dansby as our bookkeeper. And now we hired Cindy. Um, what else do we need? All right, so we have... Do I have to click on these and manually assign them? Huh, no, okay. Inventory. Okay, so this is gonna get a little bit. Let's get some cups. And yeah, might as well. The cleaning supplies, gotta keep tidy business. Don't wanna fail that health inspection. Food. Hey, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. It's not going up. It's not it's not going up. It's staying down. Oh no. Alright. I'm gonna buy some more food. Should probably move. Can I move that up in the queue? Nah. Damn, look at that fun. Five hours to buy food. Is my business even? Business is closed. It's open. Who's the cashier? I thought I would do that. No? Yeah, whatever. Just pick you. You. You've been chosen. Fun. Oh yeah. Not going super hired. Rosette Favier. So far we've lost nineteen hundred and twelve. The business is open. We have thirty nine lemons. Thirty seven, thirty six, okay. Wait a minute, what about what's the price here? Like what am I selling this stuff for? Business earnings, 1,000. I mean, that's nice, but. So this is zero expected assets and furnishing for the current amount of happiness. What's this guy doing? Furniture store, cashier. No fun. Groceries expired. Let's buy some more. 
Let's buy some more. Inventory, 202. Darius Bowling. Darius Dowling's per work performance fell to 54%. I couldn't afford all of that. No. Incomplete hours. Make sure you complete your hours. Okay. Could not afford wages. Debt added with a 20% penalty for a total of 6000 What? 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 Pay it by the due date or face bankruptcy. Ooh. By the due date? You want six grand? Ooh. I don't know, bro. I don't know if I got that. Man, I got to get in the chair. I got to get in the chair because this thing keeps sliding down. I'm, I, <laughs> I must have looked so small in the front of the video for, for who knows how long. Oh, my God. So is it just me or the hours seem to be going by a little slower now? As opposed to how it was in the beginning. It was seemed like it was going a lot faster in the beginning. Business earnings, 1400 What is my business? Let me check it. Zero, 61 hours is he above no bulk let's pause that no bulk lemons let's buy that I'm staring at the wall for six hours now I'll buy these lemons okay so we bought the lemons they're being sold we need some cups we need some cups Cleaning supplies still at five. What is this? A uh, security guard. We're out of lemons. We're out of lemons. Did I not already hit by? Where'd they go? Did I not just did I not just tell you to buy some lemons? Oh, I must have been I must have been speaking to the wall that I so fondly stare at every day. Yes, yeah, five hours. Please buy some lemons. There, there you go. Huh? Did I misclick that, or I don't know what happened there? In business made twelve hundred. What about the groceries? Alright, hunger still. That bars. Nice and full. So the other asset here would be an office desk with a computer. How would that improve? Internet service. Internet connected. Sitting service. Computer. Alright. This must be some kind of decent computer and what a must have a forty ninety. Actually no, forty ninety is like what like seventeen hundred dollars now, so Okay, I don't see the food going up anymore. So let's go ahead and buy some more groceries. And let's check on my business. We're still at the same five cleaning supplies that I purchased at the beginning. Yeah, time is definitely a little slower now because expired. I just bought some. Okay. Contract. What does that do? This type, this business type has no contracts. I'm curious as to what will happen if I buy this computer. Damn, groceries expired. All right, let's let's try it out. Let's just see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Where 
is it? Okay, there's the computer. There it is. We're back to uh, expect their assets furniture furnishings one hundred. Damn, expired again. Apartments on San Jose Avenue has closed down. What about my diabetes? Oh yeah. I stopped eating the pizza. Bunk bed, gaming chair. But buy this chair. Oh, would there be? What can I get for this? No, it's just, actually, yeah, no, I don't want to get robbed anymore. I'm not even gonna pay what bill? Pay what bill? What was that? Maybe at the bank? Is this no? This is the bank. Uh, no, okay. Because before in the first game, you used to be able to pay. Your debt at the bank. But that's not even an option here. Now how do I pay this? Let's open up my business. Yeah. No bulk lemons. Oh, man. These lemons. If I click on this person, nothing happens. Or I click, there's nothing. Actually, I need some more cups as well. Yeah, no contracts, I forgot. All right, so I have a decent amount of money. I wonder what the next step here is. Now, how do I get to that menu to search for stuff? Where is that out? Ten thousand a month? Wow. That's a hundred and twenty grand a year. You could use that. That's more than a down payment on a house. Watch movies. No no internet connected. Child care. Bar corner, lobby chairs, tables and chairs. I would check out that computer for the fun, but I don't want to get robbed anymore. So the lease is expiring. On each character's birthday, the birthday window will appear with options to spend health and happiness points. Points can be spent to reduce risk of bad status effects, increase chance of good effects, or change preferences. Check slash uncheck the boxes to decide which changes to apply. If someone has a birthday with negative health or happiness points, some bad changes might be forced on them. Well, yeah, I'm sitting on negative 144. Let's continue this lease. Here we go. Happy birthday, Darius Dowling. All right, spend points to activate changes. Disabled. So I can't, yeah, I can't do anything. Because I'm negative 144. This, on the other hand, happiness, I'm at 1100. I mean, this is happiness. I should be able to. I have points. I have the happiness points. Oh, game over. Well, that makes it a year. All right. Well, guys, this is it. Let me know what you think of the game. Did you play the first one? Are you going to play this one? Um, I appreciate it. I have more videos on my channel. I have movie reviews, other games like Dota, Capitalism. All right. A bit of a niche gamer, a little bit, a little bit. Um, check me out. Thank you very much. Peace. <laughs>